Indiana will shoot first. Russell Shealy in goal for Syracuse. JT Harms for Indiana. And again, Shealy made the big save in the semifinal match of the ACC tournament against UVA, a game where they trailed 2-1 in the 86th minute. Lorenzo Baselli equalized. They went into penalties 2-2. He saved on Andreas Ulan's spot kick from UVA. And they won that penalty shootout, moving forward to win the ACC tournament. And now winning every game since to get to here. Indiana has yet to play a game that went into penalties this season. Ryan Wittenbrink is their main penalty taker. He did take one on Friday night in their loss, or excuse me, in their win against Pitt. That penalty was saved first time this year. And it looks like Wittenbrink will be the first kick taker. He is now three for four on the season after that miss Friday. And in that miss, he went to the keeper's right. It did rebound right to his feet, essentially. He put it home to give them a 1-0 lead. Let's see which way he goes here. Set Indiana up. Perfect penalty. And Sheely guessed right, but he beat him anyway. Does such a good job on the tail end of this. Watch his hips. As a goalkeeper, you almost expect the right footer to come back across the body, but you get just enough behind it. This is all about placement for Ryan Wittenbrink. Tuck it inside. Little nod to the gods. And 1-0. We'll see if this is the same order they rolled out against UVA. Baselli did start it for UVA in the UVA game, and he was successful, as were all, penalty, all five penalty takers for the Orange. Harms in net to equalize the shootout. The Italian nets it. Similar spot for Lorenzo Baselli. He's so talented. You see him on a lot of set pieces, and whether it's from the corner or trying to pick one of them out, follows Wittenbrink's lead. Carson Henderlung has not appeared in this game yet. The Xavier transfer, two-time All-Big East player, the senior steps forward against Sheely. Henderlong, a goal scorer at Xavier, could not capitalize here. Shaley equal to the task. He scored 22 goals in 45 appearances prior to his arrival in Indiana. And I'll tell you what, he's a little, little close to coming off his line there, Russell Shealy. Still a good save. Striker lacking for confidence and pulls one to the side. Giorgio Koscheski at the spot. The order remains the same. The only other time they've been in penalties. Watch how much Sting is put on this ball. I mean, this is some kind of save from JT Harms. Reads it, got the one foot on, comes off, closes down the angle. And with that amount of momentum, that is very difficult for a goalkeeper to get a paw on it. Tommy Mahalik, the sophomore, second team all Big Ten selection. Kurt Kalov trots to the spot. Kalov scored the second goal for Syracuse in the match. This is a deviation from what they did against UVA. He was the fourth kick taker. Kalov loses it. How's it, son? Easy. Easy. Young man. You hit a few in your life, have you? Sam Sarver now, the other sophomore steps to it. You just understand, to put a ball like this, to go that high, you better be real confident in yourself, but excellent technique. Stays just over the top of it, good amount of pace, too. To quote one of the great analysts of all time, Bill Raftery, 
onions. Sam Sarver. Puts it in, and he's hyped. Gives him a 3-2 lead. Noah Singleman now striding to the spot. One of the captains of this crew, a senior from Germany. Notice how just on the backside of this run, he opens up. He started really head on, but the second that he starts to peel his run, now you're asking the goalkeeper more questions. Difficult to judge when you widen your run like white. Short run up here from Singleman. He was right. <laughs> Those penalties. I love it. Coaches always say they practice him, but you can't practice him with this pressure. The national championship is on the line as Joey Mayer trots to the spot. <laughs> Gives him a 4-3 advantage. Now Colin Byros will have to make this to extend it. Remember, he was part of that 2020 All-Tournament team that just fell short in the final against Marshall. Excellent placement from the center back. Square the entire way, opens up just at the end of it. Byros, the grad student, the transfer from Akron. He's played in big games at Akron in the tournament. He took that final penalty against UVA that sent them forward in the ACC tournament semi. Bigger stage, more to play for. Can he do it? Nails it. And now we are essentially in sudden death. Luca Bezzera, the younger brother of Victor Bezzera, who played in that 2020 final and lost. Former Mac Herman finalist. Amazing pedigree. This is a freshman in a massive spot. Has not played in this match. Has not kicked a ball in the game. And he delivers. Sheely guessed right, but he put enough on it. Who's stepping forward? There's a little hesitation there from Syracuse. He shows his cards a little bit here. Just watch the hips start to close early. He's trying to pull power back across. But he's definitely taken a few in these in his life. Bottom corner, you can't ask for better placement than that. Julius Rausch, a sophomore from Germany. Great pedigree. Dortmund Academy, Dusseldorf Academy. He's taking it quick. He slides it out. And Matt Thompson said yeah, he did not blow the whistle. JT Harms asked right away. So now the now pressure. The games. So what happens here? Do you go the same way? Arms is dancing a little more now. Roush again. Game theory went right back to the spot. That's one of the more difficult things to do in general. When they've seen you, especially in this day and age, so much video, yet alone, and back-to-back -back situations for Julius Roush. Quinton Helmer. The Amsterdam native product of AZ Alkmaar, one of the better clubs in Holland. Again, another player that has not played in this game, the red shirt, so red shirt sophomore. He puts it home. This is pretty impressive. That was some kind of penalty, especially for someone who hasn't hit one. But Todd Yeagley talks about him. He calls him the Dutch factor. Ultimate confidence. I'd say so. Left footer. Again, challenging the goalkeeper. You start to move to your right. Open up your hips and stick that thing in the bottom corner. Levante Johnson, first team All-American. The transfer from Seattle. Helped change this program this year. 11 goals, 6 assists on the season has to score here to keep the dream alive for the Orange. Ooh! Off the board, down and in! 
The soccer gods are smiling down on Johnson as he smiles back to his team. He came real head on with it. Just laces right Ooh. through it. Foot and a half. Wow, they thought they had it. All right, Maloon Goombali, Cincinnati native, Crew Academy product. He's played in big games, had a game-winning goal against UNCG in the quarterfinals of this tournament that was an absolute beauty. But he's got a score here. Jalen saves it! He sets the table! Now who steps forward for Syracuse? It has to be their captain, their heart and soul. The man in the middle, Anthony Sinclair. They didn't get enough behind it. Didn't get it close enough to the post either. Just not the best of penalties for Gumbali. Well done by Russell Shealy. You still got to make the save. And he read it the entire way. One of the best in the ACC all year long has just given their captain the opportunity of a lifetime. Second team all-league keeper Shealy has set the table for Anthony Sinclair. The senior from Costa Rica to do what was unthinkable months ago. champions for the first time in program history. Forgotten about, left behind, 12 transfers from all over the country have come together to etch their names in history and never be forgotten again.